All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the ECAC playoffs round two. Smash Purple versus SUNY Canton. I'm jumping in with Frisco right now. Frisco, how are you doing today, sir? We're going in it. We're going in it right now. I'm doing it. <laughs> We're going in right now. We are going in right now, baby. No, no <laughs> delay. Here we go. Snake versus Zelda. Game one. Go, 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 go. Fast, fast. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, like the Hedgehog 2. Now in theaters, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got Kenny going up first here for the Eagles on the Snake versus Zelda from now, SUNY Ken. Now, we don't see Zelda that often, um, especially in I, – I, I can't even remember the last time I've seen Zelda in competitive play. Um, Probably when we had E-Slug on the team. Rest in peace, brother. He didn't die. True, he just left true. the team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you have to clarify that. First. He, did not, he did not <laughs> die. I have a weird habit of like saying things that make people think that the person died when they did not die. <laughs> if they're going out, they're going out with the big bang, You know if you know what I'm saying. Uh -huh. um, but Zelda versus Snake. Uh, neutral bees. Neutral bees everywhere. Yeah, I haven't seen. Oh, characters. there's. I think the first. That she just used the first one all match I've seen so far. But yeah, that's going to be really key in this match. Yeah, this matchup. It, it's, and it seems you know, right now Kenny's doing some great work, uh, just racking the percent, keeping the pressure on. Fifty-four to one hundred six. The entire fifty percent that's not answered for. <laughs> there's right now, that neutral B. Kinda, ooh, mm, they're both kind of taking their time, mm -hmm. like really hard. Not many actions per second, really. Nice. Shielding the get-up attack. <laughs> Is it East Slug's in the chat? East Slug, what's going on, my man? No. He's actually no, he's in the dead. chat. <laughs> he is definitely dead. He died. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, East Slug, my man. How's it going? Oh, she Ooh. goes up and gets him with the up B. Yeah. A little bit of... Exposed up there. If you can get yep. up there to contest Snake, he doesn't have a whole lot to answer with that. Yeah, possibly a little bit of matchup unfamiliarity here for Kenny, but very even game or match one, I should say, so far. I didn't wow. know she had invincibility frames on the neutrally, not going to lie. Yeah, I, I know. That's kind of crazy. Oh. Can, what, what happens when Fox does that? Does he, I'm assuming he takes damage. I think he does, right? yeah. Zelda's, yeah, that move is very different than other reflectors, I think. Oh, wow, that somehow didn't hit. Oh, yep. very nice he expected it that time. <laughs> he called it it's out. A, yeah, and it's looking a lot more even now. It is, sure is. Zelda does make it back. Up tilt doesn't find its mark. Good job holding the shield. And I'll do a good job pressing that joystick. <laughs> yes, press, it, press that joystick. The Nikita finds her, but doesn't quite find the stock. Good job shielding that. Oh, up tilt barely misses. Could be meant to turn it around there. Possibly. Nice grenade out of shield. Oh, he just barely missed the uh, up B or the up tilt, I should say. Oh, that's charge up smash. Yep. That lasts a long time. He needs to find the stock here. Looking for that up tilt. Oh, sour oh, spot dash air dash attack. The sour the sour spot of dash attack is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> like kind of like that's right behind him. Yeah. Woo. This Zelda doing saying. pretty good so far Don't for SUNY. Take your time, dude. Take your time. She's got to come to you, too. There you go. Another dash attack, but still doesn't find the stock. Oh, that was... I, ooh, I always thought that was an up tilt. Take your time. I, I got to... Uh. <laughs> whenever, whenever I get super nervous, nice I talking to <laughs> player. Yeah, right, right. Dude, the uh that I was about to say, whoever gets this next stock is gonna have a lot of momentum. And it is Kenny, but a grab landed by Salutations uh Zelda. I should say Sunni Canton Zelda. They are all Ooh, we couldn't find the air dodge in a yeah. very even match one. Those hitbox stalls off of, you know, it hit Cypher and then the hitbox just stayed out longer. Oh, that was so smart. It was the right move, just a little yeah. mistimed. Kenny with a great start to this last stock here. He's going for a lot of dash attacks against this Zelda. It, it kind of makes a, a bit a bit of sense because... 
Oh. Her range is a little besides Phantom and Side B, which he can he can roll underneath her Side B. It makes sense he would want to go for a lot of dash attacks to kind of encroach on that space because mm. he can go under a lot of her stuff. Um, nice ooh. grenade. Oh, the down air. Got him with the C4. Let's go and the Eagles jump out to a one stock lead to start things off here. So Frisco, your thoughts after seeing the Zelda player from SUNY? There were quite a few moments there where it was very tight. Um, Kenny had a very strong start on that match, but something about, um, I think it was Phantom a lot of times and how Zelda just really took her time against grenades. And Kenny, in that really early death on Kenny at, off the top, he mm. just kind of it just kind of built up and he he lost that lead and it was it was a struggle for a while. But mm. he adapted. He was able to get a fifty about I think it was by the end of like a fifty percent uh, lead again. Mm -hmm. um, so very good adaptations on both sets of players just reacting to each other as time goes on trying to play very patiently um that's definitely a matchup to look out for in the next round yeah for sure so interested to see who suny canton pulls out here for player two um i could not find too much footage of their b team i could found a lot of footage of their a team uh but not so much of their b team this is their b team so um a little bit uh, not really sure what's going on right now in terms of the characters that they use, but uh, as Kenny says, we're about to find out. Um, also, <laughs> the Valorant match is going on right now. Valorant uh, trying to earn a spot in the top 16 of the Open Division. They're facing RPI right now, and it's a very close map one on Icebox. It's 12-11 to 11 right now. RPI is in the lead on match point, but if the Eagles win this round, it'll go to overtime. So... Very intense Valorant match right now. How does overtime work in Valorant? You have to win by two. It's like tennis. Oh, so we so you, you can in theory. Be so here teams, forever. yeah. So the teams go back. <laughs> the teams go back and forth um, until. Oh, that was a nice shock dart. Teams go back and forth until one team wins two in a row. You're like in the control room night right now. You have like ten monitors all. I around do. Looking at all I do. Games. <laughs> You're like, you're like the guy in the Matrix yeah. taking in all his information. Yeah, for real. It's a oh. banjo! Frisco, okay. tell me about this matchup. Oh, so they this won. Matchup is, this matchup is even as hell. Um, you're, they're essentially two characters with the exact same strategy going against mm. each other. Yeah. They just want to grenade each other. Um, banjo has some advantages over Snake because of neutral B. Uh, Banjo's blue egg is incredibly good against Snake, and mm. it kind of prevents uh, Snake's grenades from approaching. But Snake does have the better boxing tools. Mm. Um, so if Snake can kind of get in, in those interactions right there, he mm -hmm. will succeed way better than Banjo can. Um, so Snake needs to be close is what you're saying. Generally, but he all, he's, it's this weird close to mid-range area where he wants Banjo to hit the grenade like that. Kind of mm. lure him to hit it and kind of yeah. make it so that you're on top of Banjo a lot of the time, but get him to make a panic option and hit grenade. Because when Banjo starts swinging up close, that probably means he's in a bad position. He's going to want to start Wonder Winging, and then you can mm. punish from there. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, there's a Wonder hit, Wing. You got to make sure you get those techs in this matchup, or you jump. Oh, when you he always, snipes him. It's generally safe to jump out of disadvantage against Banjo. Um, <laughs> wow! Let's go! Okay, he just charges the F smash right in his face. Oh, my not, lord. <laughs> It's, I mean, it's it's the optimal punish, I guess, if he has the read. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, just oh, just barely missing that uh, Wonder Wing there. The one thing Kenny will need to watch out for is how... Oh, oh the Wonder Wing spot. does hit, and yeah. he is dead. But Eagles maintain that one-stock lead heading into yeah, the next match. The important bit. Oh, God. All right. Uh, who's up? Who's up? I mean... Uh, it's going to be Kenshiro probably going up next on the bowser i mean he if he has yeah i mean he's he's beaten my banjo a decent amount he's he's totally got this 100 percent has this <laughs> valorant did end up falling to rpi 13 to 11 an extremely close game on icebox um so but taking 11 rounds versus rpi uh that's got to be pretty good feeling for them they're going to be going into the next round with some confidence. You know, it's one thing losing like 13-2 or 13-4. And it's like, oh, man, like we really got to – these guys are really good. But 
that was, that was pretty much a coin flip at the end there. could have gone either way. So we'll see if the Valorant team is able to bring it back and bring it to a deciding map three. But staying on track here, Smash Purple, one stock lead here versus Sunican, six to five right now in game one. We've got Kenshiro's Bowser likely coming up next here for the Eagles um, with versus their Banjo player who has two stocks remaining. Now, Banjo versus Bowser is, an, is another even matchup, but it is incredibly volatile. Um, mm. Bowser can just kind of delete stocks whenever he wants, mm. but Banjo's down tilt in this matchup is insane. Mm. If Bowser gets sent at a low angle at any point off stage, Banjo can kind of almost infinitely keep knocking him back. Down mm. tilt will contest his up B back on the stage. So, can she, so Kenshiro needs to make sure he has stage control at all times, and if he mm. has that, he's good to go. All right, there's the first stock taken, and we're going to start the match now. <clears throat> nice up bees. That's a early push. Wonder Wing. Yeah, does get the grab off of that into the up air. Forty nine percent already here. Oh, that was mm. yeah. Ban Banjo has when it comes to on shield options, um, fair is the safest attack. But, and it's more safe than you think, but it's not incredible. So a lot of attacks on Bowser's shield, you can just kind of upbeat them out of shield. Banjo needs to focus more on being careful against nice recovery, very low. You either have to recover high against Banjo or very low. Like, very low. Mm. Oh, we grabbed the bomb. <laughs> he threw it away in time. Is oh. he dead? No, no he's, he's not, not dead. dead. He's not dead. He's good. Oh, he he's dead. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he just didn't yeah. air dodge. Okay. Yeah, could, well, the Eagles, we, we'll take a free stock there. We take those. Down air lands. That's a 20% down air. That's nuts. Into the up B out of shield. And uh, Gray could look to extend the lead big time for the Eagles here if he manages to take this last stock before dying. Back throw. Yep. <clears throat> contest him. Contest him. Go, go, go. Oh, up hey. smash. Doesn't quite find it. 98% now. A light breeze will kill him. If Banjo recovers high against Bowser, he's doing something wrong. Oh, Wonder Wing takes. That's a really important stock for Suni. <clears throat> very good down, down here. Oh, mm. my God. F-tilt spam. <laughs> mm -hmm. The classic Banjo. It's, 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 yeah, it's a true combo. Yeah. No for sense. Yeah. I do like this approach walk-up shield from Kenshiro right now. Oh, here we go. He has to recover high. Come on. You can do it. Nice yeah. job. He makes it back. <clears throat> that was dangerous. Yeah, you're exactly right. He could have done That's going to be it right there. Platform. Nice yep. job going to the platform. Oh, he's alive? Yeah, oh, my oh, gosh. My. He's alive. You can contest him right here, though. There yep. Oh, there it is. Flame traps for days, dude. Mm-hmm. And Kenshiro there. extends the stock lead to two now for the Eagles. Suni on their last three stocks. Now, and Shiro with a poss possible chance here to just close it out right now. Kenshiro could have easily lost to that stock right then. Uh, the Banjo made a mistake by using neutral B instead of down tilt again. Mm -hmm. When Bowser's off stage like that, you just, just down, down tilt, tilt. Down tilt. Down, down tilt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just you don't stop. You just make sure you time it when he gets approaches. But mm -hmm. for some reason, he, you know. He just didn't do it. Yeah. And yeah. then also the SD kind of helped a lot too. Hmm. I don't. I, I'm wondering if he used his air dodge and he just didn't see it. But I don't, I don't think, think he did. I don't think he did. But um, yeah, an unfortunate SD for Suni Ken. But we take those and uh, Kenshiro up two stocks, uh, bringing post up two stocks now. I should say, uh, in this game one here. Remember, these are all best of threes. So post has three more stocks to take, and then I'm they will. Uh, I know that's a you're a. a Banjo savant over here, so you got everything. All the banjo <laughs> knowledge. Uh, a good chunk of it. Um, there's some things that I kind of ignore. Uh, not uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You don't have an, as much experience on, like some matchups. Uh, I'm I'm kind of stubborn. <clears throat> I, I there's there's certain things I kind of I could learn and I haven't learned yet. <laughs> out of out of like my own spite. I yeah. Guess. I don't know. It's weird. it's hard to explain. A lot of the um. Egg ladder stuff, I just, I have it down, mm. but I don't really use it because I think it's less useful than people, people you know, put stock yeah. into. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so people put some crazy clip on Twitter and it's like, oh my God, this is so good. Except that you only hit that once every like 
30 matches. Ooh, a Little Mac. Okay. Yeah. So low tier matchup here. Little Mac versus Bowser. I got to think that Bowser's got the advantage here just because of just being a better character in general. Yeah, but there's going to, you know, Mac's ground game is like essentially second to none in this game. So you just got to make sure you're choosing your punishes accordingly when he approaches your shield and make sure you don't get the grab mixed up. Mm hmm. Oh, that was a really good parry. Yeah, this Mac is uh, gone, starting off strong here. <clears throat> and that's, that's kind of a problem right there is that you want to go for grabs a lot, but then he'll just spot dodge your grabs. Hmm. Because Mac Good. loves spot dodging. And that's safe on shield. Can't get yeah, the punish. <laughs> wow. Oh, he gets the counter. That came out fast. Dang. Yeah. You got to make sure your combos are true. Harder online. He's got the KO punch now. That's a Oh, he dodges it. And he's dead. Oh, and he's dead. Great job using the uh, Bowser's flame breath there to kind of just mess him up that much, that little bit. That very good cognizance. Oh, Ooh, he tried to Sometimes jump. Sometimes it's really, it's oh, really nice hard flame to deal with Mac shield pressure. Very. Yeah, great stage for Mac too. Mm. Nice recovery. Big punish here. Oh, he missed. He might be dead. Um, yeah, he's dead. And a one-stock yeah. lead for post. I I think I know what Kenshiro was going for there. I I think he kind of misspaced how I thought he I think he thought he was gonna land behind Mac in that situation. Mm. Like Mac was gonna approach a little bit harder, and then the fair would have connected. But <clears throat> eh. Mac's right. weird. He's so he's so nimble on the ground. Yeah. So one-stock lead here. For the Eagles, uh, is Matic. I think he's probably going to go with the K rule here. Um, we were talking the other day about the match, and he was saying, like, he likes Mario and these uh, combo-heavy characters, uh, combo-centric characters, I should say. But um, it's really tough to play them online. So that's why a lot of the times he'll just simply opt for the K rule, uh, especially if it's a favorable matchup, which Little Mac definitely is a favorable matchup. Like, he has to approach... Um, and K. Rule could just spam the cannonballs and the crown all day long. Um, yeah. But it's also possible we might see uh, Asthmatic's pocket pick here coming out. His secret pocket pick. Do you know what it is, Frisco? His he's been secret pocket pick. His secret pocket pick. He's been working on it, and uh, he's been feeling it lately. But I'm not sure if he's going to bring it out here. Secret pocket pick. If, have I seen it before? I don't know if you have. It's uh, it's Kirby. Kirby. Yeah, he's been really feeling the Kirby lately, so we'll see if he brings it out. Uh, if he's going to bring it out, I would say game one would be a good time to do it because uh, he plays a lot of different characters. So we'll see if it happens, but he's got a one-stock lead to work with. We'll see what it's going to be. It is going to be the K rule, just like I thought. Uh, I think this yeah. is probably a good decision. Um, his K rule is extremely solid, and... Uh, He's got a one-stock lead against a Mac, which is a very favorable matchup. Let's see what yeah. stage it's going to be. Uh, it's going to be small battlefield, looks like. What song is this? I don't even know what song this is. Uh, this is Lost in Thoughts All Alone from uh, Fire Emblem. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I know what song this is now. Okay. Oh. Wow. I'm facing wrong way. Oh, air dodge. Oh, okay, let's got that back. Oh, oh my God. big counter. <clears throat> no, this little Mac choices. player has come to play today. Oh, oh. wrong way. Yeah. Or the, maybe the right way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no. baby. That was a big smash attack. And he can't make it back. And it's just like we were saying, uh, Max just really poor recovery speed. And he gets sucked up off stage. He is going to oh, make it back, though. Up. But a big <laughs> smash attack. And as Matic, you can tell he knows exactly how to fight Mac. <laughs> yes. And here we go with the spam. He has to approach him here. As Matic just going in for that dash attack. Yeah. I think I do think as Matic needs to be a little bit more calm and mm -hmm. kind of stay back a little bit more. If he's back, then Mac's probably not doing anything. Oh, he could nice. finish that. Nice grab. He's going to mid off stage. Oh, he went for the big finish there. Hmm. I think that this Mac be... a little bit unfamiliar with how to fight K. Rule. <laughs> the super armor is just ridiculous. 
Oh, but he's got KO Punch. Oh, and he misses. Big miss on that KO Punch. But he does land the Smash Attack. But 112 is going to be a tall order. Asthmatic still with two fresh stocks here. Yeah. Again, Asthmatic is, is being a little too aggro on this right now. Yeah. But he has a lead. He has a really big lead. Oh, wow. wow. Is that that's, oh he's God. just dead. Oh, unbelievable. Great stuff coming out from Asthmatic. And the Eagles take match one with two stocks remaining. Jeez. Very nice showing from one so far. Jeez. game away from heading to the Sweet 16. Let's see if we can close it out here in game two. Game two, uh, Suni, you think they're going to stick with the same characters or are we going to switch a switch? We had Zelda. Uh, and then, uh, remind me again, who was the second character? Banjo, Banjo, Zelda, Banjo, and then Mac. So we have a we have a plethora of lo of low tier city right now. Yeah, for real. Um, I mean, I would imagine Suni would want to switch something out. Um, hmm, I just it's hard to say. Uh, I think you I think you guys are set. I I mm -hmm. probably would keep and keep the same order. I probably mm -hmm. wouldn't mess with it. Yeah. Um. Just be cognizant. It's just a matter of being cognizant that you're going into a potentially a matchup against Zelda. Mm -hmm. I think I think Zelda is definitely the problem matchup out of the three, mm. um, especially for any of the characters. But mm. you already dealt with it just fine. Uh, I I can't imagine they they. I feel like they would need to switch if anything. <clears throat> I feel like you guys are set. I think I I would agree with that. I think. Um... Checking in on the Valorant match, they're down four to two on Haven right now on map two, so pretty close. Uh, looks like they've got buys this round, so hopefully we'll be bringing it back to four three. But uh, Valorant team still going strong. Always and ever going strong. <laughs> yeah, I actually have the Valorant match up on all the TVs in the lab right now. Um, Medusa is streaming it. He is one of our substitute players for the Valorant team. So he oh, nice. is shoutcasting and streaming it for us right now. <clears throat> I have some friends who play Valorant. I know nothing about it. I'm like, oh, maybe I should get into it. Maybe I should check it out. It's fun if you like FPS games. If you're, if you're an old Counter-Strike fan, uh, very similar to Counter-Strike. Um, I was a big Halo guy, which I know is different, but... You know. FPSs, bro. Yeah. If I was this team, I would, if they, if I was keeping the same characters, I'd probably send Banjo out first. Mm. In my opinion. Let Zelda play the mid a little bit more. I feel like Zelda they, would be they able to are, out some characters. So they out. are switching up the order here, which I think I'm actually okay with because uh, I think Kenny struggled a little bit against that Zelda. So... Um... I'm not sure it's going to be great or uh, asthmatic going first here this time. Um, I think it may do a good job of throwing Suni off a little bit, uh, but we'll have to see. Um, and also, Suni could also Suni could switch it up themselves as well. So this is going to be really interesting. If they send out Banjo first, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Thanks, Werda. <laughs> Thanks, baby Werda. Uh, can't go Kalos. Can't go Kalos. Hold on, hold on. Wouldn't stages all be open on this counter pick, or no? Because this is match one of game two, so it's only the oh. starter stages. Oh, okay, okay. You do it like that. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. I kind of like that actually. Like That's actually a good way to deal with it. <laughs> what? I like that. I actually like that. I, I like you know forcing pick. to play the starters. Uh, yeah, I know. It's an interesting stage format. Um, but uh, I kind of like it. I do. I, I mean, I do like the idea of opening it up as you go along because I, I don't know. I feel like we'd be playing on, if we had everything open, we'd be playing on like. <laughs> I, 
I like having like that kind of flow to it where things open up as you go along and kind of repeating mm -hmm. that is kind of nice. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be trying to counterpick everything, and it's like, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see who it is. I think it's going to be Kenshiro first here. Something tells me. It is! And we do have a character switch as well from Suni, and it's going to be a Link. So Link versus Bowser. How do you feel about this matchup? Uh, it's probably in Link favor, honestly. Um, I feel like Link just has a lot of tools to deal with. With Bowser, especially that Nair, like mm. if ba I think it's safe against Bowser's shield too. It's if Bowser can't do up be out of shield very if, like consistently, that's one of his tools gone. He just threw the bomb at him. <laughs> yeah. Sixty-one percent, good start here for Kenshiro. Oh, great spot oh, dodge on that grab. Finish. Yeah. Kenshiro doing a great job closing the distance here. And a nice Flame Breath going to get a lot of damage. And that's a free up smash. Doesn't quite find the kill, though. But a nice job using that down air by Suni Canton. That's a to, that's Flame Breath. To get out of disadvantage. Nope. Side B on the platform. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's dead anyways. And Kenshiro <laughs> off to a great start here in game two, taking a stock pretty early. Only 73%. There's uh, Link using that. Uh, when he's at 0% and he uses the F-Smash, it produces a projectile. And you just saw it there, but it's only when he's at 0. Oh, going for that hard read with the forward you, smash. Guys. Now, this is a kind of a situation that is... Kenshiro could easily take this second stock without losing his first. Mm -hmm. It's just things where... When it, uh, when it comes to Link killing, he either needs, needs to get some sort of... Confirm oh! Or get close and like commit to something. Yeah. Oh, F-Smash. Yeah, up smash. Second time that's hit so far this series. Doing some good work here for uh, Suni Can. Nice air dodge away. Good job shielding all three hits. Now we're now we're seeing a lot of time taken right now. Yep. Nice and slow. Shiro just taking his time, approaching safely here. I like it. Oh, that's a ooh. I, okay. Missed the tech, but he wasn't get, getting didn't get punished for it. Ooh, he goes for that up B. Um, I think also what you're going to see, I think, oh, a side B doesn't quite find it. Uh, but I think what you're going to see as well is players um, will be getting used to the lag a little bit as time goes on. Because it, it does take a little bit of an adjustment. We've been practicing offline for a while now. And uh, it does take a little bit of an adjustment to go back online. That up air is so active. Yeah, it is. <laughs> 158 percent on great now just getting pummeled by these projectiles but doesn't really matter if he doesn't die so forward yeah, air lands now, this is a nice setup for another kill oh he oh. barely missed the up tilt that probably would have been another kill but so still a uh kill, right? still a 128 percent lead for kenshiro uh, now we're kind of at a problem now there we and go look. up smash takes it reading the jump mm-hmm Grabs the bomb. Come on, Kenshiro. What's your bomb play right now? I, want to see <laughs> I don't know if he plays any characters that use items. Items oh. are so much fun, dude. <laughs> of course, the banjo player would say that. <laughs> <laughs> I love grabbing grenades and whatnot. It's so much fun. Come on. Nope, oh, doesn't send what the bomb the right do? way. <laughs> <laughs> Swinging at ghosts right on the right side of the stage. Oh, I thought he was dead. I thought he yeah, was dead that from was that close. <laughs> oh! Almost landed that F smash. Great recovery. Going very low. Very oh, he's going to be dead there. No, he's not! He's alive! Gets hit by an F smash. Gets hit by an F smash at the side of the stage and somehow lives. Crazy stuff coming out here from Kenshiro. Oh, re oh, that was very there. dangerous. Link, That Link player had the air dodge reach, too. He yeah, just he didn't did. Connect. Finds the side B. Yeah. What am I saying? I got no, the percentages. Not... Yeah, you got the... Oh, what? Oh, no. What? That was crazy. It clanked oh. with the downer. I've never seen that. That was yeah. crazy. His, his up smash has uh, certain frames of armor, I believe. Or like it might be just be invincibility on the shell in general. Yeah. But yeah, it, it will contest and it. And Kenshiro gets, gets post out to a two-stock lead here. And the Eagle's looking to... 
maintain their undefeated status and improve to 9-0 and on the season and advance to the top 16. They've got six more SUNY stocks to get through to do it. Let's see if they can do it right here. Kenshiro with two stocks left. Um, which player do you think swapped to the link? Do you think it was the Banjo? Uh, I think it was a Zelda player, honestly. Probably the Zelda. Um, hmm. because a Zelda fan, perhaps? Plays both of them? <laughs> I, I think so. Because mm. um, I, I noticed... I think the Link player was a bit more meticulous in how they were playing. Mm, which kind of mirrored the Zelda's play style a little bit. A little bit, because mm. the Link wasn't afraid to take it slow, and neither mm -hmm. was the Zelda. Yeah, that's true. So I, I do think we'll either... I don't think we'll see the Zelda the rest of the set. Um, granted, I don't know if we'll see Banjo or Little Mac the rest of the set either, but we'll see. But the Switch is working out really well for you guys already. Yeah, it has. Uh, Ken, I don't know. There's just there's something about Game 2 Kenshiro. He just turns it up a notch, and it's just like you can feel it. It's like I think it's exactly what I was talking about. I think he just gets used to the lag. And like once he makes that adjustment for the lag, because there's always a little bit of lag online. Like Even if both players have LAN adapters, even if both players are on the East Coast, it's still like there's always just that slight bit um, that makes it just that much different from uh yeah. offline so i think once kenshiro makes that adjustment he just becomes so frightening and you see it by the time it gets to game two so um we've seen it we've seen it a couple matches now actually where uh kenshiro will go second or third game one and he'll do okay uh but he won't be like dominating right and then game two will start and he'll be like i'm going first he'll just like say he'll just be like i'm going first this time and he'll just absolutely just dis destroy people and i think it's just because he gets used to that little bit of lag and he just finds that confidence um so we'll be we'll going say. to hollow bastion here for oh, this really? next match yep I, um, I love hollow bastion. so uh, it's going to be Kenshiro with two stocks remaining. And we're going to see if we're going to have another character swap here from Suni or if it's going to be a character we've seen before. And it's going to be a Bowser mirror match. Okay, so it doesn't get much more fair than this. Bowser versus Bowser. Um, that middle platform. With, with that giant middle platform. So Kenshiro going to take his first stock here. And I will then we're say gonna be it off. is a bold move for them to want to do the ditto, especially you against Kenshiro. I respect it. I respect it. That's a nice combo to start things off. 42% just like that. Nair to up B. Jeez. Yeah, that's great. percent unanswered. Yeah, this is a great start here for Suni. I think Kenshiro is just adjusting right now. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to take his time. Even if he doesn't hold on to this stock. Oh, oh, no. The misinput. Yeah. Buffers. Online. Pain. Yeah. But right now we're gonna start seeing a little bit of a turn up, I think. Oh yeah. Oh he mad now. Oh he mad now. <laughs> I thought he was he Oh and he doesn't oh, make the him. recovery. An SD for an SD. We take those. Two zero to deaths in a row. Yeah. Wow, and just like that, it's uh pretty even. Nice shield on that F smash. Gonna be a big time punish, fifty two percent. Trading forward airs. I'm pretty sure Genshiro went, No, I'm not going out like that. Yeah. Oh, the sit. I love it when he does stuff like he that. He reads the getup attack, too. Oh, can't find the flame breath, though. Nice spot dodge into the up smash. He gets sat on in return. Is he going to... Uh, he could have contested, I think. F tilt going to... Oh, oh, he's alive. Oh, he just dies. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think that's worth it. I think yeah. that's worth it. Uh, Post with a... With a two stock lead still now, uh, six to four. After that, very interesting <laughs> end to that game. <laughs> two SDs from the Bowser player on the side of Suni. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna agree with you there, uh, Frisco. Definitely worth it for post. Um, so we'll see what uh, <laughs> we'll see what's gonna I'm happen sure, here. I'm pretty sure that was the banjo player. Yeah, I think just from. Just kind of, kind of like looking at the options, I, I, I feel like that was the Banjo player. Which leaves so the Mac I, player, right? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if they stay Mac. I wouldn't be. They so. banned they banned Kalos, Yoshi's, and Battlefield, so that seems like Mac bans. Although he's decent on Kalos, right? No, Mac will get. Well, it depends on the character, but if if a character like I've played matches as Banjo against Little Mac, and I'll just stand on the end platform. 
and then Matt can't reach me, and Matt kind of breaks. Oh yeah, that's true. He, he literally he can't, can't do anything. Yeah, he can't. I've literally played against Max, and they they SD trying to reach me. <laughs> he, he, if you have projectiles and you go to that platform, mm -hmm. he literally breaks. <laughs> it will depend on the character he he plays against. Yeah, but yeah, because you you would think it would be a good Max stage because it's incredibly flat, but that one platform just breaks him. So it's gonna be Kenny going next here on the snake. One stock remaining on small battlefield for the Bowser player from Sunikin. Let's see if Kenny's able to close it out right here and get a three stock Persona. lead for post. Huh? Persona. <laughs> oh, the music? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Kenny, very well versed in this matchup. Thanks to great, mostly. Um, they have played a lot together. Just leaving that grenade right there. Oh, he's not going to be able to do down airs on shield like that. Mm. Nice shield, though. Great job into the back air as well. Oh, we should have grabbed there. Oh, <laughs> went for the forward smash. Reed. This shield get Both shields getting very low. Kenny's nice. playing a little too much on his shield right now. He needs mm. to, like, tone it down a little bit. Just take your time, dude. Okay. V very nice grenade Ooh. setup right there. Amazing grenade play right now coming out from Ken from uh, Kenny. Oh, and there's the up tilt. And the I Eagles with a commanding three stock lead now. Three stocks away from the sweet 16. Let's see if they can do it. I love Kenny's roll reads. They're so magical. <laughs> Every time he does it, I just I know. like, oh, I love it. All right. So we're about to, we're about to find out who the last player from Sunny Canton is going to play. I have a feeling it's going to be the Mac, but this is a very difficult matchup for Mac. It's very similar to K. Rule. Uh, so ugh, I don't know. I think we might be seeing another character switch I mean, here if it is in fact the Mac player that was left. Yeah, if it, if it is Mac, it's he's going in pretty on a pretty hard disadvantage because mm -hmm. even because Mac likes to put on shield pressure. And sure, he might want to pressure Snake enough to go for a shield break, but he's taking a risk because he doesn't have any disjoints. Snake's gonna have a grenade in hand. He hits that grenade. He just goes up. Snake doesn't care. It's like this is this is a if if they stay Mac, that's incredibly tough. We banned and, an enti and we banned FD, which I definitely a big fan of because uh, that's the stage that Mac loves the most. So <laughs> good yes. job taking that out. Um, but yeah, sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. <laughs> I, also, I think that's also double for Snake, because Snake likes platforms. Mm. Generally, set up his stuff on platforms to cover as much space as possible. Yep. Um, he can function just fine on FD, but FD, he, has a, he does have a slight disadvantage. Um, so it's like it works well for Mac, and it's, it's a very good stage to ban. Mm. I, I agree. And we're going to Yoshi's. All right. So, and, and a very interesting stage choice here. I'm thinking this is probably not the Little Mac. Yeah, I think we have a character switch again. We're about I to mean, find out. It might be, it might be Mac because the good reason that the platforms are What's a up, lot chat? bigger you can come to the stage. But I, I that reasoning in my brain is not. <laughs> I don't know. That's not solid. It's a villager. Oh. What? Villager. Very good pick. Uh, I, that, that's blue. a good pick. Um. Yeah, this is a much better matchup than the Little Mac. So, not sure, yeah. but we got three character swaps coming out from Sunni right now. That's really funny to me. Complete character swaps. Mm hmm. Oh, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Whoa, that was dangerous. <laughs> I, see, I saw that. He put it on the side. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know it could stick to the wall like that. Yeah, no. Kenny has played this matchup before. Nice job with the yeah. get-up attack there. I will say everybody's improved at this matchup a lot since yeah, the last Yeah, for times. sure. Well, that was interesting. Woo! Right into the back air! Beautiful stuff <laughs> from Kenny. And two stocks Second. remaining now for Suni Canton. And on oh. this villager player, the, their last hope to bring this to a deciding game three. Let's see if he can clutch it out. But uh, Kenny doing a great job so far. Yeah, this this village is very aggro. Mm. Um, oh, it gets buried, and that's gonna be a that's gonna be a bowling ball kill for sure. And yeah, now we've evened it up. Yep. But oh, and there's a pocket on the grenade. She pulls it out immediately. Yeah, 
which I don't I don't know the logic because if, when they pull the grenade back out of their pocket, the timer hasn't reduced at all. The timer doesn't reset. Yeah, so, so it just explodes immediately. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't I don't understand. The down this, smash. But... Oh, <laughs> he forgot about that. I think. I would, I feel like you'd be better off pocketing Nikita. Oh, absolutely. Or up smash, which she just did there. <laughs> he just kept holding shield until it exploded. It's like, why not? Down throw? Oh, no, no, I, th I thought that would be... two percent off. Oh wow! He, he was he was literally two percent off from being from it being true. So he had to go for something. Mm -hmm. I thought that I thought he was at the point where it was true. Yeah. Grenade hits, and we take these trades at this point. And the final stock mm -hmm. now for Suni Canton. One remaining. Can, Kenny's, Kenny's gotten so much better at this matchup. He really has. Oh wow! The perfect shield on the tree. That's crazy. The reeds can't again. find the F smash. Shields the tree. This matchup is so. This character. This character is so weird. Yeah. You know what character we have not seen ever yet what? in the ECAC? Steve. We have never seen oh, a Steve. That is super surprising to me because you see so many Steves. They're everywhere. Mm. That, yeah. It's so weird to me that no one in the ECAC one. plays it. <laughs> That's so funny to me. Yeah. Or at least not in my memory. Yeah. Oh, I think actually, sorry, we did phase one. Oh, and up air finds it though. Or one oh, stock of like now. Weeks ago, it was the it? one. It was a while ago. It was the one where Kenny got that grenade snipe, where he just chucked the grenade straight That's up. Do you remember right. that? That was against yes, a Steve. That was the only yes. one we've seen though. Um, yeah. It's so interesting to me. And this is looking nice and clean right now though. One hundred two. An entire Kenny just mashing that B button. Oh, and he finds it, and it's time for the sweet 16, baby. A clean 2-0, and Smash Purple improves to 9-0 and on the season and keeps their undefeated streak alive. Congratulations to them. Uh, let me check now on the, uh, the next match. Are you doing that at 4 o'clock tomorrow? Uh... I believe so. Let me uh, let me check here. Leak spot yeah, is uh, being slow right now. I won't now. be here. I won't be here for that. But okay. But yeah, I believe we do have to play another match tomorrow at four. Now, uh, yep, tomorrow at four for a spot in the elite eight on the line. So that'll be top uh, eight. That'll be top eight if we win. Be top eight. Yeah. You want to talk to him? What's up? Andrew has a question for you. Yeah, what up? Frisco, does a uh, pocket reset grenade like blow up? No. No. So it will, if, he, <laughs> if he pulls it out of pocket, it just explodes again. It will explode the same timer that it would left off at. So I think Snake's grenade takes like two and a half seconds to explode. If, he po if the villager pockets it at two seconds it will literally explode in half of a second after he pulls it out wow yeah so when he did that i'm like why did he even bother pocketing grenade like just throw it I back i don't think he knew about that mechanic if you saw he literally like pocketed it and then he was like in the animation of like taking it out yeah, and that didn't so let him throw it and yeah. then he blew up <laughs> and that took like 40 percent <laughs> yeah, I mean, against Snake, you don't really want a pocket grenade because then you just, like, got rid of one Let's of your go. moves. And Snake has no, no, you know, he, mm -hmm. Snake doesn't 